have a few items that did not make last month's monthly box because the items were not in that actual box. I do apologize about that, but I do have the clips and the products are wonderful. So I wanna share them with you. So let's cut to that footage and then we'll come back and I'll show you what was for July. I do have a skincare item here that I would have liked if it did not leave such a strong white cast. This is from the brand Pharmacy, which is sold at Sephora. And this is their green screen daily environmental protector. So it is their sunscreen. Broad spectrum SPF 30 and it's for all skin types. This is nice. I like the smell of it. It's subtle scent, but I liked it. And I believe it's like a natural brand. Yes, it says gentle antioxidant rich protection against the uh, both broad spectrum as well. So you're getting like the skincare benefits and sunscreen. But it just left a strong white cast on my skin. This is from Glam Glow. Now I actually first received a sample from Sephora, which is in the shade Sun Glow. And this is Glam Glow's Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. Scent is Sherbert, just like an ice cream Sherbert cone. Oh, smells so good. And even though it has, like you can see the color from here, this tone, it just goes right into the skin. And it has a, like a sheen to it. It has a subtle shimmer. It's not, it's not sparkly, it's not chunky. It's that natural, that, that natural look I like, that shimmer from within for all over my face because I do like glitter like glitter highlighters but when it's all over my face I want it to be subtle and I don't want anything chunky I heard about Kevin's the celestial skin liquid highlight now I am all into my liquid highlights I really am I just I feel like I have to have everyone that I see this is what I tend to wear underneath whatever like powder highlighters or another cream highlighter. It looks beautiful on bare skin. So you can put the little mega moisturizer on from Glam Glow, then take a sponge and just go dot, 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 and blend it out. And then the second Kevin Aquan item I picked up is the Celestial Bronzing Veil. Now this is in Tropical Nights, which is a cool bronze. So that's the packaging. Again, luxurious. I would expect that from Kevin. And you just kind of press in. You have your little mirror there. And then that is the bronzer. When it comes to bronzers, I tend to lean more towards the red-based bronzers. If I find one that is not red-based, it better wow me. <laughs> it better wow me enough to pick it up. This wowed me. This is actually a cool tone bronzer, but it doesn't look gray. It doesn't look like death. It doesn't look neutral on me. It just looks natural, like that sun-kissed appearance. You do have the gradients of the light to deep. I just swirl it together. Slight sheen to it, slight shimmer. We're talking very subtle, just beautiful on the skin. Now for July. I'm going to first start off with a fragrance. I have another goodie. Now, when I went to Sephora to actually look at Fenty Beauty's um, Moroccan Spice Palette, this is what happened. The sales girl came up to me. I had the palette in my hand, and she started saying, Oh, that palette is so pretty, right? My head went... I said to her, what do you have on? Her perfume is by the brand Toka. Hopefully I pronounced that right. And it is called Florence. I put that palette down, went right over to the uh, fragrance section and they made me a sample. It was like that serious. I thought of Gucci Bamboo meets Tokyo Milk meets this alluring, mysterious woman, Thomas Crown Affair, walking down the cobblestone streets of Paris. It does say it on Sephora that the fragrance family is floral and it has Gardena, Turbo Rose, and Iris. And it states it makes us fall in love with Paris, the city of love, all over again. I'm falling in love with myself and this perfume down here in Southern California. This is wonderful. Let's move on to some complexion products. And then we'll kind of go like in order of how I would do my makeup. So first I'm gonna talk about a couple of primers I picked up. Now the first one is by Bobbi Brown. This is their Primer Plus Mattifier. Now Bobbi Brown actually sent this to me, which was very nice of them. Thank you, Bobbi. The top selling point for this primer 
is that it hydrates the skin, but it also helps with any type of oil production you have and blurs your pores. It's supposed to be like almost like an all-in-one. First time I used this, I felt like my face was wet. Not like dripping wet with water, but it was wet. And at first I'm thinking, what what's going on here? And it wasn't the primer. I didn't think it was the primer. I thought I had something else like on my hands. And I said to myself, it's the primer because I can feel it on my skin. I feel that that is the hydration aspect of it. And it does, it makes my skin feel hydrated. When it comes to the pores, I think that is so incredibly, um, not only personal to people, but people are like, no, 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 really make sure it works because we have various aspects on our face in which the pores are more pronounced than others. For example, for me, it's right here in this area. I personally didn't see where it was reduced temporarily, of course, where it was just like, hmm, I didn't really see it. It wasn't um, shouting out at me, but it was smooth, nice and smooth. Let's say this is something that you are interested in picking up. Definitely make sure you read the reviews from Sephora and read the ones that are specifically like you can tailor it for oily skin. And that way you can kind of see some other reviews and see will this really help with oil production? Because I felt how I looked at the beginning of the day, I was feeling the same at the end of the day. I have not come across a, a primer that gives you hydration but mattify at the same time. It's like two opposite ends of the spectrum, but it does, it merges together and it offers what it needs. And that I feel is great. We're gonna leave Sephora because we're gonna go to the drugstore now, our Ulta side of the drugstore. And this is by Catrice. It is their Prime and Fine Smoothing Refiner. It says for invisible pores and lines, kills pores, right there in the hot pink wording. So this is one of those uh, primer that are pretty typical as far as this is the texture, this is the look as far as to blur and smooth out the skin. Now I don't have again enlarged pores, but I'm really trying to see in that area, which is right here, are you gonna smooth it out? Are you gonna keep it from looking more pronounced? And I feel that this primer did a great job at that. It will depend on what foundation I pair with it because not everyone was you know, jiving well with it. The more runnier, the more water-based uh, liquid foundation that I would pair with this the more this start to be like mm, are you baking a cake <laughs> or what you trying to do so that's the difference see the difference between something like this and the Bobbi Brown the Bobbi would do this as well hydration added to it this is strictly look let's blur the skin and let's do um, the pore coverage but you need to be careful as far as which type of uh, foundation you pair with it so to match it would be foundations that match this so like matte foundations um, one that has like you know the silicone the dimethicone the smoothing type of blur foundations and uh, concealers this would pair nicely with that I have one foundation to discuss I received a sample of YSL's all hours matte long wear foundation. I was able to test out this foundation in various weather conditions. It's been extremely hot. Then it'll be cloudy the next day. It'll be really windy. So I can kind of see where, you know, it's kind of acting out, where it's not. I feel that the concerts in the park for me are the perfect time for me to be testing out these foundations because I'm in the sun, I'm dancing, I'm sweating, and it's a great indication is if this foundation gonna stay on. When I would actually get to the park, it was already starting to wear off. And so I'm like, mm, no, and I've got like a full face on because I'm testing it. So I'm like, no, mm, this just doesn't seem to work in extreme heat. Like the NYX can't stop, won't stop. However, when it would just be like a cloudy day, when it would be where I would have the AC on or I'd be in the car blasting the AC, this foundation would last. But that's just kind of my overall impression of it. It just can't seem to hang with me 
on all conditions. Kylie had a pop-up shop, like an actual truck inside of BeautyCon. So if you were able to go to BeautyCon in June or July, whenever it was, you could actually see a lot of the uh, makeup in person. I wanted to try the concealers because I noticed that Shayla, who I watch on YouTube, she tends to really like this concealer and she uses it often. The texture of this concealer is, I would say, like semi-thick. It's not runny, it's not too thick. It's like right there in the middle, like Goldilocks. Another aspect of the uh, concealer is I feel that it has a lot more coverage than my no filter concealer from ColourPop. I can definitely see it in the darker areas of underneath my eyes. I'm also able to kind of spot conceal a little bit more in those areas in which I feel I need it for hyperpigmentation but it really does work well for that aspect. It doesn't cover dark marks a hundred percent but it will bring it down a couple, you know, like a couple pegs. I tend to, I like to work in sections and smooth it out, use a sponge, use a brush, but it will start to dry like, like that. So I definitely recommend again, work in sections. My last complexion face product is a loose powder. This is from Derma Blend. It's their loose setting powder in the shade Warm Saffron. Warm Saffron, I feel is like in the middle, like it has yellow, it's got orange in it. It's got just these warm, well, warm saffron. It's got those complementary tones for my skin tone. Why I really like it is how it looks to set my concealer and how it looks underneath the eyes. This shade gives a realistic highlight, a realistic flattering highlight. It doesn't look stark. It doesn't look um, unnatural and very bright. I just really enjoy this and I can also use it all over my face to set my foundation. I have a couple of highlighters that I have been uh, using in July. First up is from Lancome. It is their Click and Glow pen and it says highlighting skin fluid. Instant glow on the go. This color this color is so beautiful on darker skin, just beautiful. They have various shades. Of course, the first shade I did pick up in an order from Sephora and it was just much too light, even though it was like a gold. I feel that's best for a fair skin, pale skin. Then it goes down in shades, so depending on your skin tone. I got this for uh, $11, $10, whatnot, um, on Sephora's website in the sale section. I need to pick up another one before you guys all now go and grab them all. Next is one from Laura Mercier, and this is actually my first time trying highlighter from Laura Mercier, so I was actually quite excited to get this. I have the uh, Face Illuminator in the shade Indiscretion, so this is the compact, and I actually picked this out from my Octolase store, so again, haven't tried this out, wanted to give it a shot. Now also with the highlighter, it comes with a fan brush, so I was able to uh, try that one out too. So both of these, of course, were sent to me, and you know, I didn't have to pay for it, but I'm still going to give you my honest thought. There's something with these hair and how it's cut it doesn't produce an even application of highlighter I put it on with the fan brush and it's kind of going all over the place like the hairs and first off like I said it's not I don't know if it's really going in there and getting what it needs to because of all this groove action going on but it turns out to be like a stripe and it's difficult to blend out the edges if you like a streak you, you know, you want it that intense, then by all means. But that's just something that I noticed. I do feel that the powder is, the powder is very soft. It's a beautiful highlight on the cheekbones. I have it on um, in this video right now. I do like the shade. I feel it's very flattering. It starts like low at first, like it's like a, a comfortable look, my first application. Then the second application, it's like boom, and I start blending it out. So I do like it. I really do like it. And I'm happy that I was at least able to try out one. But the fan brush, again. I'm just not impressed with it. My last highlighter is from Essence. We're back at the drugstore again. This is their Pure Nude Highlighter and this is in the shade Be My Sunlight. Now they have expanded their shades and they have this one for darker skin. That just gold, that deeper bronze with gold mixed in. It's just beautiful. There's no like glitter, there's no chunks. It really is smooth on the skin and very flattering. Two more Kylie Cosmetic products 
from the pop-up truck at BeautyCon. These are just stuff I knew I wanted to try out, try out the formula without having to order online and pay for shipping. So first up is the cream lipstick. I picked up the shade Trouble Maker. Just comes in a bullet style here. This is a comfortable, creamy formula. It smells like a float, like a, um, like a cream soda. That's what it reminds me of. But it's a good color. It's not gonna last all day, but I don't want it to, because I don't want it to be that matte. I don't want it to be dry. It's just a very beautiful color every day year round I wear my colors year round and I'm happy I picked it up so now I can actually try the formula last is an actual lip gloss so Kylie's lip gloss this is in the shade candy K it was either Coco K or candy K I wanted to try out so it's good I can try it in person now same packaging as the liquid lipsticks this is the issue I have is the wand I don't like these like haired type wands like this I prefer it to be like the wand that it was for the concealer or just something that had a little bit more control or just color wear it by itself or I can wear it with the lipstick which is why I wanted to get this shade as well because it, it goes flattering with uh, Troublemaker. The gloss itself the texture is thick that's what I like it's thick but it's not sticky it's thick but it feels like creamy it's thick but it spreads it's thick, but it's not gonna last all day, but that's okay. I don't want it to, and I know that with gloss. And last is a gloss from e.l.f., and I knew I wanted to pick this one up. This is the collaboration, where is the box? Collaboration with Alyssa Ashley, and this is just their lip gloss, and it states that it's in the shade Nude Rose. This is a beautiful color. Now, I'm not able to find this in the stores or at my local Ulta, so this is something I had to pick up on the actual website for um, Ulta. I do like the wand so I would have liked Kylie's wand to be like this there's a little bit that kind of grooves up at the top so it's nice I can put it on my lips this is the lip gloss that I can wear by itself or I can wear it with lips it will actually pair well with uh, lipstick excuse me with the troublemaker or a lot of just like nudes it's so flattering on the skin it's something that I think that will look good on a lot of different skin tones it's just a really pretty color it's a good formula too I did receive a Fenty Beauty by Rihanna fly liner long wear liquid eyeliner this was one of those perks when you spend a certain amount so I did choose that it was an eyeliner I was definitely interested in trying and this is just in one shade because I'm black which is a nice rich black the tip is so incredibly thin I'm like yes this is what I like I can get extremely close to the lash line it's intense black deep rich black it's not matte it has a slight sheen to it I would have preferred it to be like a dark matte black, but I'm just letting you know. Packaging is beautiful. Looks to me, I feel the pen looks quite luxurious. Has that rose gold color. And the price is up there with all the other popular, like if you were gonna go into Sephora and get those popular ones, like the Kat Von D and so forth, the price is right up there. So I recommend just grab hers, the uh, fly liner, and you don't have to buy, you know, the controversy. <laughs> eyeliner from Miss uh, Miss Cat. Next up is a eyebrow pencil. This is uh, BH Cosmetics, BH Studio HD Brow Pencil. I was um, inspired from the fancy face. Tina stated in one of her videos that she really likes the BH eyebrow pencil. The shade is ebony, so a nice rich black, but it's not a strong black. I like the formula of this because it's right there in the middle. It's creamy, but it's not too creamy. It's not tugging like dry but I mean it fills in the spots perfectly it's like a thinner type like a brow whiz and it just makes those strokes just so easy very impressed with it and it has a spoolie here on the end and it's a good spoolie so very happy I picked this up my last item is something I picked up at Fame Expo but I just tried it out the following month so I picked up ABH's Anastasia Beverly Hills soft glam palette I took my time getting soft glam because of the fact that you know, I read that some of the colors were from the Modern Renaissance palette, so they were sharing. And then some shades were in singles. And so I had to look at my singles and look at my other palettes and I had to kind of see and match it up which ones is which. I know it's neutral, but when you think about it, you can do a ton of looks. Like I, I wore it today, I can do a ton of looks. For once, I didn't put bronze as my tear duct shade. I used it on my lid this time. You can build up from light to dark. 
Everything looks great. The uh, dark black you can use as an eyeliner, smoke things out. I have my brown bone shade, which I use with orange soda. My lower lash line, I love Dusty Rose. And to mix that with Mulberry, all these possibilities. And you guys liked it too when I wore it in my June empty. I will do that with ABH. I will take my time because I also wait because I, I wait till it comes to my makeup store in LA so I can just get it at my pro discount. So any type of reviews, for ABH palettes, you know, you do have to kind of wait for me maybe a month or two, but by then it's already, already out. There's tons of reviews. Like for Nervina too, you'll have to wait till I get down to LA and I pick it up. But um, I'm glad I got it. Let me know if anything, anything you've tried out, you probably have tried out a lot already, but I would love to know your thoughts on um, how's it working out for you. If your results were kind of similar to mine and if anything might be on your wish list, because some of these I'm definitely gonna be recommending you put on your VIB list now. Thank you very much for stopping by and watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day or evening. And as always, I'm going to see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.